Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. Today is a super exciting today because it is finally another Stitch Fix day. I haven't done a Stitch Fix in forever. I filmed one a couple months ago that the footage got all messed up and I couldn't post. And then I've been working on my 2021 year in review, which will be coming out before this video. So if you want to go check that out, everything I got in 2021. And now finally, my first Stitch Fix of 2022. I am so excited. It's been way too long. So let's just dive right on in because no more time should be spared. Um, really quick, while I'm thinking about it, if you haven't done so yet, please um, give me a thumbs up. Um, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe. It really means the world to me. I know everybody says it and I know that it gets annoying hearing it constantly, but it really does mean a lot, especially to us smaller creators when somebody just takes the time to click that little subscribe button. So I would really appreciate it if you could do that. Otherwise, let's check this box out. So if I'm remembering correctly, I think that I actually ended up choosing maybe everything in this box. So let's see what my stylist has to say. Hi Megan, welcome back for your 23rd fix. How are you today? I cannot believe that this is my 23rd fix. Wow. I am so happy you wanted me to style you today. I always love how open you are to trying new pieces. Also, thank you for taking the time to review your fix preview. I think each of the five pieces that you chose is a great pick. I will keep in mind the other pieces for future fixes. I know you're not completely sold on the green tribal pants. I would love to hear what you think of them and how they fit. If they do not fit quite right, but you like the color of them, I can always try to find a pair in a different style. They will also look great worn with the black paper moon top. Please let me know how each of these pieces work out for you. I am looking forward to hearing from you. I hope you feel as beautiful as you are. Cheers, Kat. Aw, what a nice message. Thank you so much, Kat. And I really appreciate her detailed, like, questioning of the pieces. It It's just really nice, like, knowing that she's really trying to match my style. I really appreciate that. My last stylist was great at that and I'm so glad to have found another one that's continuing on with that. So like I had mentioned, I was right that I did pick all of these based on the fix preview. And I remember some of what I got, but not everything. I remember I had some pretty specific thoughts in mind when I picked each of these. So I'll be really interested to see how they look in person. It's always hard when you're looking like on this screen, you know. So let's move this box, let the cat jump in it, and take a look inside. So oh. she's gonna make so much noise with that. All right, so the first piece we have in here is by Paper Moon and it's the Larie tie sleeve blouse in black but it's got these flowers on it and I remember when I chose it that I really wasn't sold on the style of it I don't love the flower pattern on this one and I feel like it could end up looking a little baggy and meh However, it's been a while since I tried something super out of my comfort zone, and so I decided to go ahead and select it so that I could try something new and see what I thought. Then I picked this one, which is by Fortune and Ivy, and it is the Ferro Tie Sleeve Mixed Material Blouse, and it has a very similar style to that other one, but I went ahead and went with it anyways, because even if I do end up keeping both of them, they are different in color and pattern. But I thought this purple one was super pretty. I'm also not sure how this one will fit, but I'm up for trying new things. The only thing I just realized is if I keep this purple one, I'm gonna have three shirts almost the same color. One sleeveless, one t-shirt, and then this one with a partial sleeve. So that'll be an interesting mix to my work wardrobe if I keep that. Next, 
I got this dress to try. It's by Kaylee and it's the Amandine knit dress in black. And it's got a really cute little floral pattern on it. It's one of those faux wrap styles, which just seems like everything is that style currently. And it's got some little sleeves, which is always nice for my workplace. So this one will be cute to try. Two more pieces here. Then let's see. This is a cardigan. It is by Love Ellie. I have a couple cardigans from them. And it's the Ola Herringbone Knit Cardigan. I just really liked the color on this one. It's kind of an eggplant purple. I wonder what the color is. It's just purple, okay. And um, there have been a couple times that I've wondered if it would be nice to have a purple cardigan. So I figured it was worth when I saw it in the fix giving it a try. We'll see how it fits. And last were the pants that she mentioned. And it is, oh, these are made in Canada. Oh, these are by Tribal. They're the Fia Cuffed Straight Trouser. I think I have a blue pair of pants by Tribal as well. I can't remember for sure. They are this green color. They're really pretty. They've got cuffs on the bottom. And it seems like they're nice and stretchy too. I've been wanting to mix up my pant situation for work, so that is why I decided to try these so I could see if I would be willing to wear them to work and have a bit of a different style. So, all right. I really love the color of these, honestly. So pretty. So, anyways, these are all of the pieces in my fix, so let's go ahead and try them on and see what we think. All right, we are starting with the Fortune and Ivy Faro tie sleeve mixed material shirt. Again, it's in dark purple, and this is actually the cheapest item in the box at $42. So, that's very interesting that it's the cheapest piece in the box. I'm honestly not sure I'm loving it. I really like the color. The fit's not horrible, and the little scalloped neckline is kind of cute. But it kind of fits odd on my arms, like this part hangs down. I don't know, I'm just not in love with how that feels. And it kind of feels like the top doesn't quite fit correctly either. So I'm a little torn on whether or not this piece is a keeper or not. So you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think down below, whether or not this piece is a keeper. Let's take a closer look at it. It goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around so little. And we keep track of time Being so serious Idiots Thinking it will matter Keep me company downtown Before the clock runs out Sun is shining but the rain Okay, now we have the Paper Moon Larie Tie Sleeve Blouse in black And it is $44 So just $2 more than that last one And it's really unfortunate that I dislike this pattern so much because I actually really like the way this one fits compared to the other one. I like how the ties are just a little bit different fit at my elbows, a little bit different length on the sleeves, and I just feel like the top is a little bit more flattering than the other one. You guys will have to let me know if you agree or disagree. Maybe I'm seeing it wrong. Um, but I'll go ahead and give you guys a closer look and we'll see what you think. I'm afraid I'll end up nowhere. They keep saying I'll be fine, but how you know that I'll be there? When it feels like I'm lying every time someone asks how it goes And I save the details that actually mean something Okay, so these are the pants, which are the Tribal Fia Cuffed Straight Trouser in Olive And they are $58 So, dislike why are pants always so short on me? Are they supposed to be that short? I guess they are like cuffed. Are you supposed to see on my ankle? My legs are just too long to wear pants. Always seem to hit like that and it drives me bonkers. Pros, I really like the color. I really like the fabric. They are very comfortable. <sighs> I hate when the fit just seems off, but everything else is good. So, 
here's my question. If I keep them and I wear them in the summer, springtime, like with sandals, maybe that'll work. Maybe that'll be really cute. I don't know. Um, they are $58. I can't remember if I said that or not. So I do really like them. Um, you guys are going to have to let me know what you think. I like to pair just with this black top, you know, like this is something I could wear at work, like in the spring, with sandals, would be super cute. So, what do you guys think? I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious idiots thinking it will matter keep me company downtown before the clock runs okay so now we have the kaylee amandine knit dress in black and it is 50 dollars i do really like this dress um the pattern's a little different than anything i normally wear or have like with the I do florals, but this one's just a little different. However, I do like it. I like the fit. Kaylee's dresses are always just a nice, comfortable fit. Um, nice and modest, something I can wear to work really easily. A decent length. So, I do really like it. Um, the only thing I'm not sure about is the pattern. So, you guys are going to have to let me know if the pattern's okay or not. <laughs> I'm afraid I'll end up nowhere. They keep saying I'll be fine, but how you know that I'll be there? When it feels like I'm lying every time, someone asks how it goes, and I save the details that actually mean something. Mm -hmm. Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome too. Friends are nearby, don't need another view. And last but not least, we have the Love Ellie cardigan in purple. It's the Ola Herringbone Knit Cardigan, and it is $48. I really like this cardigan with this dress. I like the bone knitting, and I like the purple color with the pockets. The only complaint I ever have with Love Ellie's cardigans are they're so long, which I'm never sure if it's a flattering fit or not on me. Again, I do really like it with this dress, though, so... You guys think it's a keeper? But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up. Don't wake up, wake up. Keep it steady, cause I'm happy. I'm not, I'm not gonna wake up, wake up. I'm not ready. Let me have another day. Don't wake up. Let me know what you guys think. Alright, well that was everything that I had for you today. I cannot wait to hear what you guys think of all of the pieces down below. Don't forget to comment with your thoughts. And again, thank you so much for being here. I so appreciate you all. I will talk to you guys again soon. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Bye! I want to be there, baby.